man. Oh! Oh my god! Hey, so guys, there is them here. One Piece episode 1092 is finally here with episode 1091 last week. Do. Let's go. This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. So you want to experience Japan from the comfort of your own home? Well, look no further. Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box and you will get up to 20 of the latest exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks. However, if you want to experience authentic Japanese snacks, well then, we got... Sakurako! Sakurako is supporting local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks. And a traditional tableware item from Japan, Kiko Plate or Firefly Plate. You will receive one of these designs. So for this month, Tokyo Tree is gonna go for Be My Valentine. Also, Sakurako has a new team as well. Valentine's Indulgence. Ah! All of the information that you need are in this booklet, such as the snacks you receive, as well as allergen information. Not to mention a wealth of information about Japanese culture. So what are you waiting for? The boxes are up for grabs for you guys or your families. Damn, that is good. <laughs> Personally, these boxes from Sakurako and Tokyo Treat has been wonderful to receive, and I'm always surprised to see more new snacks readily available in these boxes. Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Links are in the description. Right, let's get back to the video. Rocket Sam Sack, One Piece episode 1092. We already skipped opening. Here we go in 3, 2, and 1. Let's continue where we left off. I just cracked my voice. Oh, what the hell is this? Alright, recap as always. So. Yeah, we got separated by Luffy, Chopper, and Jinbei with the rest of the crew. However, this crew came across a Veg a Vegapunk. I feel like it's already confirmed. She's technically not Vegapunk, but I guess she's designed to get be v Vegapunk. But her other name is Lilith. And <laughs> meanwhile, at Chopper, Jinbei, Luffy, and Bonnie's side here, we got another Vegapunk. And also they're on Future Island, man. Mirai, Jima, or something like that. I got Bonnie. I want the more interactions, man, with Bonnie. And this is it. Have we... Get her name yet? I don't know. This, 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 this Vegapong here. I thought she's our enemy, but she seems chill. Look at that. And that Doobo! <laughs> A girl, man. More than anything, she's huge, hella huge. She's punk five. Uh, Lilith is punk two. Bigger than Kaido. You sure about that though? Well, let's get to know her, man. She kind of reminds me of the voice actor of Chopper, punk five. This is it. Doctor Vegapunk. Yes, we already know. There's so many Dr. Vegapunks. But which one? Luffy <laughs> <Be a> Chopper. <laughs> but Bonnie knows. What the hell is she talking about, man? Alright, oh god, title. Okay. Man, there's so many revelations. But, let's see if there's gonna be more revelations about this Dr. Vegapunk here. Especially, we gotta clear up the misunderstanding. Where is the world government ship here? Oh my god, don't tell me they're returning, man. Um, sorry. My my memory sucks, man. But that has to be Kaku. I, I still remember Kaku in Zoro's fight, man. So busy. Luchi. Are they talking about Vegapunk here? Spreading himself into six. Oh no, there we go. That's a revelation. Oh, look at that bird. Oh, satellites! Punk 1 is Shaka. That's what we saw. Punk 2 is Lilith. Ooh. Ooh! Addison! Pythagoras! Punk 4. Atlas! There's Punk 6. So there's 6 of them. York. So there are satellites to the real Vegapunk. Not crazy to think that can't be true. That is true, man. We've met him, Luchi. Have you met her, the girl? I can't tell. Just remind me. 
Just like their owner. I wonder if this if the voice actor still the same. I can't recognize Kaku though. <sighs> um, it's not Kuma. But it's a, a seraphim, right? Damn man. Oh they're gonna work around uh, work along with Seraphim here as well. Is it Seraphim? Seraph I need to remember what happened. Lulucia Don't be nosy. I really wanna know man about Luc Lucia too. I'm kinda simpology. Are there still CP uh nine? This 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 right here. It's a seraphim man. Let's find out more about that. But meanwhile, there's holograms here. Oh my god. So the girl is named Atlas. She's technically technically Vegapunk. But not really. And so you <laughs> but god Body Chopper Luffy They're more than satisfied. <laughs> What is this sea? But I'm happy they're filling themselves up, man. <laughs> I'm happy, man. Sanji's gonna get mad. All your stomachs are about to burst. <laughs> he just body, body shame. Yeah, Jinbe here. Recycly. Reconsists it to be a source. Wow. I see, it's like um, a recycle uh, crash. Wow, just Luffy. Just threw that as a litter. Oh, uh, I don't think we're supposed to do that. Oh! <laughs> and that's what you get for littering. Luffy! Oh, there we go. What? What? All three of them? There's three men! <laughs> These three musketeers, man. Oh my god. They won't tell her. Okay, well, there we go. But that's a good uh, invention, though. You shouldn't have litter, Luffy. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> oh, and I went back to the, no <laughs> the normal uh, handsome self here. Pretty stuff. <gasps> Atlas. Of course, Atlas. Sorry. We're still having the hologram. <laughs> Just face. Your job is to be violent. Yeah, thanks for the food, though. Egghead. All right. Thank you, Astro Boy Atlas. <laughs> Hey! Now she's doing the uh the thing again. <laughs> she seems friendly and nice and interesting. What is that? What are they? Are they? It's a lab researchers. So the people living here are researchers. They were taking precautions against you guys. Oh, just like have are they actually like living beings or robots though? Where's Luffy? Oh no, Luffy is exploring. I think we're we're gonna come across uh, another Vegapunk soon. Just the clothes you like? Clothes? Oh wow, Luffy is gonna get an outfit here. Let's see. <laughs> All right, I don't know why he just put in a cheat code. Oh, oh, there we go, bro. Nice, just specifically designed for him. Yo, is he gonna get a, a jetpack? Well, I don't know what, what you guys call it. It's on the league itself. But let's see Luffy turning from Wano. Oh, well, not Wano. The original Luffy here. Into futuristic Luffy. Yeah, don't take the hat. Let's see. You guys should change too. 
Let's see what Luffy looks like. Bro, he looks nice. Definitely not the first time seeing it from the <laughs> talking about the opening, but no. Yes, that's how he got uh, gets the outfit. It's really like look at that headphone on his left ear. Passionable man. Well, Bonnie, you should get one too. Food and clothes for free. Just to keep because of the seawater. Let's see what Bonnie looks like. Oh, combat combat dress. A cool one. I love my Jinbei is coming along as well. I'm so happy for Jinbei. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Wait, yo. Jinbei is wearing the Hawaiian shirt here. But let's see how they look like. My god. <laughs> Meanwhile, I got the pizza, Luffy. <laughs> Bro, this is nice. I want to see more of this. And let's see how they look like. This is Bonnie. Oh my. Oh my god, Bonnie looks beautiful. Shit. Chopper looks adorable. My boy looks cool, Jinbei. Very tropical. My poor disguise. That's okay, man. At least we can enjoy the sight. I love the disguise. Yeah, exactly. We're intruders, man. Bonnie. Sure, Bonnie. Ah, Bonnie too. Look at how the friendship between Bonnie and Luffy here. Oh. Uh, oh no, another Vegapunk. Luffy sensing something, man. Observation hockey. Oh, it's the police. Okay, well. Hold on, we have what? Kuma. Oh, I thought Bartholomew Kuma. But no, it's a Kuma is in the. a bear? No, it is Kuma. What? Design base of Kuma. Oh no, well, either way, that's a police, man. You guys are introduced. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Alright, looks like it's okay. It's okay so far. Wow, that is very, very nerve wracking. But, yeah. Based stuff of Kuma, man. We're gonna see more. Oh no, spoilers! I don't wanna see their outfits yet. Luffy is getting ready, man, with the hockey. With social cool hockey. Nope, it's not sensing it. That's good. We are off the radar so far. Nice. Careful, Luffy. Let's not intimidate him. For now. It's coming this way though. Careful you guys. Bonnie, Chopper, Jinbei. Just imagination. Alright. Let's hope it still is imagination. But it's still the <gasps> Oh god. If Luffy says so, we gotta run man. He's gonna run? Come on Bonnie. Oh Oh, he sent you guys! We gotta believe on Luffy, man. Just keep running. If the captain says so. Oh my god, it's full! Oh lord, it's coming! Whoa! That's <laughs> still Bro, why? We got the... Atlas permission. Bro, here comes the laser cannon! No! I think that's a little bit oh, too much. That's vandalism. They don't even care. But no, Bonnie, that's not Kuma. Bonnie, no, 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 Bonnie. Be careful on her, man. 
That's not him. That's not your father. A form of self defense. Exactly, man. Self defense, you guys. Let's he attack first. Bonnie's not moving, man. I'm just keeping an eye on her. Luffy! That's just, uh. That's nothing, man, for Luffy. He's going this way. Oh, God! The momentum put him on the air! Oh! Luffy! Oh no, Bonnie, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't stop, Luffy! No, no Bonnie! <laughs> no! I knew he's just gonna do that. Exactly. Bonnie. Oh, poor Bonnie, man. Oh, oh God. Imagine using... Having your father being used as a robot here. Look at that. No more revelations. The only family she has. Oh, my God. What is this, man? Yes! It's Kuma! Bro! Man... Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Bro, that's fucked up! No! I'm so sorry! Let's just run away! Yeah, that's a that's a pacifist, Bonnie. Bonnie, Luffy. Oh my God, bro, that's overkill, man. Meanwhile, we're back to Beppo. What are we here? Oh my God, man, poor Bonnie. <laughs> And let Beppo rest, man, after we're on day one of Kuni. <laughs> Sad bathing. And what's going on with Law? <laughs> He's there. This polar bear, man. <laughs> That's our boy, our guy, our Chad Law. What is that? Oh no. Oh, kid. Is that him? Oh, that's not kid. Wait. Hold on. Yo! Is that Kuroike? Don't tell me they're gonna come across each other here, Law. That's Lost Ship. Oh, submarine. Bro, bro. Holy shit, law. Oh no, you guys. Bro, what is this? No way we're running away. Shit, man, against Blackbeard. Fuck, man. Jeez, I don't know, man. Anything can, anything can happen when it comes to against him. Oh, wait, what? Just sailing across. Oh, I see. Give me the point shape turn. Starboard, man. Oh, no, these people. Ah, it's been a while since we saw them, man. God damn. And this is Burgess. And this guy here, I forgot his name, the sniper here. Uh, let's see. Van Og Van Og or something like that. Oh god, bro, this is bringing back memories. Stronger. Though, bro. <laughs> I can't read their names. In the font. But of course, that's Marshall D. Teach, man. 
Oh my god, lol. He's gonna have a tough time, man. Holy shit. That's gotta be tough. That's gotta be really, really tough for, Luke, for, uh, for Law here. However, let's see uh, if there's some extra scenes uh, with uh, Robin and Chopper here. Archaeologist. Information can be a strong weapon, exactly. Today we're gonna be learning about Rob Luchi! Rob Luchi! Agent of Cyberpole. Exactly, man. We need to recap here by him. So he uses six powers. Oh god, I remember him against uh, that guy. Oh, fuck! June 2nd! I'm June 22nd! Yep, zone type double food, cat cat food, leopard model. Oh my god, I wonder how much he has changed, man. Since Water 7. To obtain the blueprints, Pluton. I see. And then he revealed his identities. Took Robin away. And threw in his lobby. Oh, I love the scene, man. I love this fight. Exactly, Robin. Luffy busted Luchi. Definitely. So he's a cyberpunk zero. I wonder why he has a pigeon. Well, still, it's part of his personality. It's gonna be more chaotic, man. That's it. All right, interesting. Okay, so um, we get to see a little bit of the past uh, here. Well, first of all, we get to see new costumes. Outfits for Luffy, Bonnie, uh, uh, Jinbei, and Chopper. Um, and then we come across a pacifista or police here. Uh, but that's not Kuma, that's just pacifista. But for Bonnie here, that's a traumatic thing to see as well. Because we just get to see a, a, a single scene right there of the past of Kuma and Bonnie. No, he's not, she's not even fucking around. She's, she's actually legit. There's, she, 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 she got brought, raised up by his father here. I don't know how if they're blood related or just adopted, but still the connection, man. Bonnie and Kuma, that's amazing. But yeah, that's very traumatic, and to see Kuma being used as a pacifista and uh, now a seraphim everywhere, except Kuma himself, living being. But I don't know, man. Poor him. I I, I poor poor her, you know. But yeah, now the pacifista is aiming for Luffy and. Uh, uh, Bonnie here. Hopefully they're safe. Well, uh, meanwhile, Law. Oh God, I don't know if they coincidentally met up with each other here, or Kurohige is literally aiming for Law as his first on the list and whatnot. But that's gonna be huge battle, man, between Law and uh, uh, Kurohige. Fuck, uh, man, and he's gonna he's gonna be alone against uh, 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 Blackbeard. I don't know, man. Hopefully, uh, all things goes well for him. All right, let's just put it in there. All right, a uh, very, uh, very uh, relaxed space, you know, for One Piece. Um, uh, not not as usual as before, but still, that's okay though. One at a time, we being introduced with Egghead, the Future Island, and whatnot. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes uh, with the next episode. Anyways, that's out. One Piece episode one thousand ninety two, one thousand one hundred ninety three. That's with the usual. I don't know if you're watching, Sarazen. I love you, bye.